Sharpay. Forget about the rest of us. How about the fact that your brother has worked extremely hard on the show? Oh, boo-hoo. He'll be in the show. He'll do his celebrity impersonations. And don't lecture me about Ryan, given the way you've been interfering with Troy's future. What? You've got him written up by Fulton for sneaking on the golf course, swimming after hours. I had to step in just to save Troy's I'm job. I'm not interested in what you think you're doing for Troy. That's between you and him. But you're messing with my friends, my summer, and that's not okay with me. You don't like the fact that I won. What's the prize? Troy? The Star Dazzle Award? You have to go through all of this just to get either one? No thanks, Sharpay. You're very good at a game that I don't want to play. So I'm done here. But you better step away from the mirror long enough to check the damage that will always be right behind you. Girls! Hey! What do you mean you're done here? Us working together sounded good, but plans change, and people change. The club talent show is a big deal for Sharpay, and evidently for your future. So it's cool. Make it happen. Wear your new Italian shoes. Jeez, I'm still me. Blowing off your friends? Missing dates? If that's you, it's no, good no, to I'm know. No, I'm only doing that because I'm working on the scholarship thing, you know that. But if along the way, you act like someone you're not, pretty soon that's who you become. I meant what I said about movies and summer and just being together. I'm sure you did. At the time. But I also meant what I said. That I want to remember the summer. But not like this, Troy. I think it was a stroke. He was prone to blood cuts. A clot could have formed on his sutures and traveled to his brain. It only takes a second. Yes. Dr. Hunt did a beautiful job on the surgery. But I don't know why. I didn't think of blood clots. He died all alone. He was alone. There's nothing you could have done. I changed my dress three times. I wanted to look nice. I would have been here sooner. <laughs> but I couldn't figure out what dress to wear. Izzy? We shouldn't be in here. Is there are things that they need... They need to move him. Take him to the morgue. You can't stay here. I know you want to. Can you please, please, just get out? I want to be alone with Denny. Izzy, that's not Denny. Shut up. Iz, it's not Denny. The minute his heart stopped beating, he stopped being Denny. Now I know you love him. But he also loved you. And a guy that loves you like that, he doesn't want you to do this to yourself. Because it's not Denny. Not anymore. An hour ago, he was proposing. And now... Now he's going to the morgue. Is that ridiculous? Is that depressing? Ridiculous. You'll never.
Just pouring myself into my music. That was bad. Yeah, I know. Um, are you here to help? I can't. Why? Because you and I are going on a moonlight picnic. Now? Right now. How could you... Because I'm that nice of a guy. ...think that I would just go running off? Are you saying no? Do you not understand everything that needs to get done? How could I not when I have you reminding me every two seconds? And the water balloon fight. I mean, what were you thinking? I was thinking, wow, wouldn't it be nice to have a little fun? So you're saying I'm not fun? Why do I even keep trying? The whole reason I came was I know, was to get to know me better. Well, guess what? This is me trying to save something I care about. So am I. Really? And how's that working out for you? Not so great. Shane. You forgot your flashlight. Boy. Just because you're dressed poorly doesn't mean you're not Chuck Bat. Why would I want to be him? You should have told me you got shot. I'm surprised you didn't shoot me yourself. I have. Many times. In my dreams. The good ones. But if you were really hurt, I would want to know. When I woke up, my ID was gone. Nobody knew who I was. Nobody was coming to look for me. I realized I might be alive, but Chuck Bass doesn't have to be. Changing your name doesn't change who you are. It's a good start. A chance to live simply, earn people's respect, maybe become a person someone could love. I did love you. And you owe it to her. And everyone else that you're leaving behind not to run away. Which is what you're doing. And I don't think that great man that you're talking about wanting to be is a coward. I think he would face up to what he did. I destroyed the only thing I ever loved. I don't love you anymore. But it takes more than even you to destroy Blair Waldorf. If I didn't come back, that's true. But it wouldn't be my world without you in it. Like football, it's just one more sport where I get last. And you want to know why? Because you stink. <laughs> or because you're pretty and all the other girls are jealous. Nice save. Okay, look, I know I'm not good, but I'm not horrible. Look alive, Stuart. Eh. Okay, I'm horrible. You just know what it feels like to always be the last one picked because no one wants to be with Stinky Stewart. Uh, 
true. Last year in soccer, I wasn't picked till practically the end. You had a broken collarbone. And you still got picked ahead of me. I just wish one time some miracle would happen and I wouldn't get picked last. All right, Palumbo, Prescott, team captains, pick your team. Yes, 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 yes. Finally a captain who will pick me first. <laughs> Doesn't matter who you pick, Prescott. Your team is going down. In your dreams, Palumbo. You've been trying to beat me at something since the second grade. And newsflash, never going to happen. Hey, Stinky, how you doing? Not bad. Hey. Let's go, ladies. Pick your teams. You're slower than my husband in the bathroom. Curse the day he put that plasma screen in there. Pick first, Trescott. You're going to need all the help you can get. She's not the one who's going to need the help. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Darn right, yeah. You're going down, phony Joni. Who smells like we go baloney? That's been in your locker all alone. -y. Right next to that. That. Smells good, ice cream coney. Ooh, girl, you are in the zone. <laughs> Yo, salt and pepper. You want to bet on it? Does she? How about, um, winning captain gives the losing captain a little haircut? You're on. Or we can bet a quarter, because, you know, it's just about the fun of competition. No, it's really about the fun of me kicking your butt again. Yeah. That's it. You're on. Go ahead, Lily. Pick away. Make my day. Everything's gonna be okay. Kowalski. What'd you say? You need to leave while you're freaking out, my little brother. How can you tell me what happened? Is it Ashley? I saw you talking to her. What did she say? Just leave, all right, Will. Can you tell me what she said to you? Will, I did not come here for stupid summer romance with some stupid local boy that has done this with a thousand other girls. What? Ashley told me about all the other girls you've been with. So, I don't want to be just the next girl in your parade of girls, Will. Going on the same date, doing the exact same thing. I think that's why it would be better if we just end it. End it? End what? Ronnie, yes. Okay, I went out with other girls before I met you. But that's the point. It was before I met you. How can you be mad about that? Will, don't you dare make this about me. You and I both know this is not my fault. 